Good morning. My name is Stan Smith, and I'm here to talk to you about the importance of meditation. You ever have one of those bad days where someone, you're like stressed out, and you're mad, something didn't go right, and then someone tells you, take a deep breath, relax. And you're, you're probably thinking, that's the last thing I want to hear is relax, take a deep breath. But that deep breath is actually a form of meditation. So what is meditation? Meditation is a practice that helps people balance their lives physically, mentally, and emotionally. And it usually involves sitting in silence and deep breathing. Uh, you can actually uh, lie down or uh, yeah, find somewhere quiet and lie down. Instead, you might fall asleep. Uh, but uh, meditation has been around for thousands of years and is practiced by many cultures. It was practiced uh, in ancient times as a way to understand the mysterious forces uh, of life, and it was also believed as a way to get closer to God. It is mostly well known in the eastern side of the world, like uh, China and Japan. Uh, there's monks that practice this every single day. Um, that's why you see it in religions such as Buddhism. Um, and even though it's, uh, it's practiced in some religions, it does not always have to be considered a spiritual practice. There are other benefits as well. Um, there are different types of meditation. There's guided meditation, which is also known as visualization. It's a type of practice that allows you to form mental images based upon uh, like memories or uh, familiar scents, sights, uh, you know, thinking of people that you care about. Um, it allows you to focus your mind and on something that makes you happy. Uh, mantra meditation is uh, silently repeating a calm, uh, calming thought or phrase which helps pre uh, prevent distracting thoughts. There's also uh, Qigong, which is used in Chinese medicine. Uh, it combines uh, physical movement and breathing exercises and is actually used in some uh, hospitals as an alternative way to heal people. Tai Chi is another practice in Chinese culture. It's similar to Qigong, but uh, it's actually a gentle form of Chinese martial arts. So you're getting exercise as well as uh, uh, like breathing and uh, being calm. Uh, and then there's Transcendental Meditation, which is similar to Mantra, uh, but it involves sitting with the eyes closed for about 15 to 20 minutes. And a thought, phrase, or mantra is repeated and and your focus is on the breath. And that's why you might hear people uh, say Om and chant that. Uh, that's actually related back to philosophy uh, on the breath of creation. Uh, that when you focus your thought and uh, chant at the same time, you're, you're, cre <coughs> you're creating that energy. Um, there's also tons of research on meditation. Uh, According to Dr. Herbert Benson at Harvard's Medical School, he has shown that deep, deep relaxation helps develop disease-fighting genes. Uh, that's according to Food Matters TV. Um, people who practice meditation or other stress reliever exercises develop more of those genes than those who didn't partake in meditation. Uh, Harvard's researchers also discovered that our emotions and behavior are connected to our genes. And these genes can be turned on and off at any moment. Uh, due to these discoveries, the test stu subjects were told to practice meditation every day. And after two months have passed, subjects have developed genes to help fight off cancer and other disease-ridden cells. Results also showed that even after relaxation was over, the effects still lingered, showing signs of a stronger immune system. Meditation has always been linked to a way of reducing stress and discomfort in our everyday lives. Uh, some more benefits, uh, it has been known to reduce anxiety, depression, pain, and uh, insomnia. Uh, even in some parts of the Western world, we're starting to uh, use some of these uh, meditation treatments uh, as an alternative medicine, as opposed to uh, our regular our regular medicines uh, that can cause physical problems. Um, meditation has also been linked to uh, inflammation or anti-inflammation, which is uh, inflammation is the body's attempt at removing harmful diseases or cells. 
and that usually occurs when there's too much stress in the body. Uh, according to Emory University, it says meditation sends a message to the brain to switch off the stress response. Um, but another benefit of uh, meditation, it helps gain a new perspective on troubling situations. Uh, it reduces negative thoughts. Uh, your self-awareness is increased and you focus on what's going on now or what's in the present instead of worrying about uh, yesterday or tomorrow. And then um, in conclusion, uh, me, I am a strong practitioner of meditation. I try to meditate once or twice a day uh, for 30 minutes up to an hour. Uh, it actually makes my day improve. I, I feel more alert, responsive at work. Um, but I, I chose to talk about this because uh, I'm inspired by my best friend who had uh, battled brain cancer for 12 years of his life. And uh, uh, during his last two, three, two, three years, um, he decided to use alternative medicine as a way to uh, cope with his cancer. And he started taking up uh, meditation and relaxation and it actually prolonged his life a little bit. And um, so I just want everybody to maybe take some time out, 15, 20 minutes a day, uh, take, a, take a breath, relax, and just get rid of the stress.